going in a sequence and trying to remember all the possibilities there are, and you're going to see that everything is connected. So it's very important that you understand the previous technique to move on. Not that you, you have to be following these exact steps because you don't know how your opponent is going to react. But it's important that you know what to do in with, uh, each situation depending on, on his reaction. So I'm going to show another thing that happens very often, especially when you're not very careful with what I mentioned before of having your thumb going down, keeping it low when you go. And sometimes we, that's why I like to aim for my foot down here when I go. When I do it, I like to go really like this. So there's no space for him to resume my arm or get the inside control. But during the fight, it's never perfect. So sometimes you go in and he already puts the arm out. So what happens is, if you do one of the techniques, even before you put it here, if you do everything you did before, look, you turn and you get over here, you get stuck, right? So it's hard for you to come on top. So this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna show first, turn this way a little bit, face the camera. I'm gonna show first, when you get stuck on that position, you cannot go up. This is what I like to do. I force myself, so he has the reaction to put you down. And then I'm gonna dive in, okay? I'm gonna basically do this. I come up, then I come inside, and I bring him. But what's important is, let's say, you do the leg switch. You're coming up, you wanna go, and you wanna do it. If he's not defending well, you might even put him down over here. But normally, they are active here. They, they know their uh, top control depends on this. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to dive it in as if you want to hold the shin. And this leg is going to stretch under here. So you're going to do this motion over here. Now your hip is starting to get in. So he's not touching and he has no base. And then you start to come on top and secure the position. So let's do it facing this way. Now look, I try to come up. I'm stuck, so what I do, I dive in. I slide my hip in, so I, he has no base with any other ground. Then I close, and I bring it on top. Whenever you go on top, some people get worried about this counter, and they think, oh, I'm gonna get choked and stuff. All you have to do is walk your legs towards the head, so you do this. You might even start to attack with something else. The mistake here, or the danger here, would be if you stay like here, I want to keep pressure, he's doing this. Even if he gets over here, look, just walk this way. And then he's going to be the first one to retreat down and try to be safe. 